I've been fencing about five years. Yeah, five years. And who's your club? Uh, Epic Fencing Club yeah. in Calgary. Epic Fencing. And um, have you been to many competitions before? Uh, a decent amount. Yeah. Only just through Canada and a few in the U.S. Okay. And if you had a, uh, a set of recommendations for younger fencers that want to start, what would you say to them? For like competitions or like... Just standing in the sport and getting better at it. I think the key is to just start with just local tournaments and just like keep doing those until you're comfortable and then just work yourself up to bigger and bigger tournaments. Yeah. And the key is just to have the right mindset, you know. There's not like, at some point when you're at the beginning, don't care about the result. Just keep trying as hard as you can. And then once you're more comfortable, then just move up and up and just keep improving. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really matter at the result at that point, just keep pushing. Yeah. Have you considered other uh, weapons or...? Uh, not really. No, I've you started was... foil. Always yeah. have done foil. It's yeah. It's been my favorite, so... Yeah. And um, for, for you, like, what, what are you working on and what are the uh, aspects that you want so to improve hard. on your fencing and your technique, your speed, or uh, to get better at, at the sport? Still, generally everything at this point, but the key is to just have a really good mindset. I think that's the most important thing about yeah. fencing. Like, sometimes you can have like a really technical fencer in your fencing, it's like really hard. They might be like technically better than you, um, and like really good with like weight work and stuff, yeah. but the key is just have the right mindset, you know, not give up one point at a time, and just keep pushing. One point at a time. Sometimes that's you just gotta dig deep. Okay. Well, thanks so much, James. Thank you. And all the best. Thank you. <laughs> okay.